Sorry. How are you? Doing well. Doing real well. How's the rehab? The rehab? It's been, man, it is. it has been a, uh, a very good rehab since, it feels like since day one I've been ahead of schedule. Um, doctors and uh, our training staff are, are, you know, pleased with where I'm at. Um, currently uh, just progressing every day, constantly, you know, trying to get stronger, constantly trying to get my explosion back. Um, so that you know, I can I can be ready. So being ahead of schedule, that means there's a schedule. What's the plan in, in terms of returning to the field? Of so I mean, we've we've got a lot of time on our hands. Um, so really, the the mindset, especially right now with with so much time, is, is just progressing every single day. Um, you know, we don't want to put too much workload on it. We don't want to put not enough. Um, we're trying to stay in that good range. Um, but yeah, as of now, it's 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 focused every single day on on getting back. Um, and, and just getting better, man. It's you know, there's so many little things that go into it. It's not just the Achilles. It's you know, all the surrounding muscles. It's all the all the things that you know make you make you who you are on the, on the field. And so, um, you know, it's just making sure I'm strong in all areas. Are you thinking training camp preseason or? Is yeah, I mean, I, ultimately, ultimately, it's, it's we've got so much time. You know, you, there's so much that can happen. Um, you know, I'm, I'm everything so far has been great. Uh, Right now, ultimately, it's just it's just progressive, man. And the focus is right here, where we're at um, these next couple months, and um, we'll see what happens. Do you feel like you need to string together a bunch of healthy seasons and, and really show teams that you know that you can do that and you can be healthy over well, the long stretch? I, I don't think I need to do that for anybody else but myself. Um, you know, I think ultimately, you know, I want to play this game. I love playing the game of football. I love being out there with my guys, and you know, when I'm not out there, there's a sense of you know, I think everybody, every player feels this way when you can't help your team is that you're kind of letting them down in a way because you know you could be out there uh, making an impact. So, you know, it, it, it is probably more of a disappointment for anybody than me. You know, I, I have to make sure that I'm out there. And so, you know, that's my, my motivation is, is within. Um, and obviously it stems from the guys around me. I want to be able to, to, to have that accountability and let guys know that, you know, I'm going to be there for them uh, no matter what. How hard was it for you last year? Obviously, you're a big part of this defense, quarterback yeah. of the defense. Uh, they make the great run. Obviously, you're happy for your teammates, but the fact that you couldn't be a part of that, yeah. how does that affect you now? Yeah, well, you see the changes throughout the, the few years that I've been here, right? So uh, the ups and the downs, the highs and lows, and you go through it all with everybody. And, you know, for this to be the year that, uh, you know, we we end up having the best year we possibly could. It was it was awesome, man. It was I was so happy for everybody. Obviously, the work that I put in, not just this year but the years before, helped us get to this point. And I think that that's the case with everybody. But you know, it, it was tough. It was hard. It was it it, it you, you definitely want to be out there. You definitely want to be playing. Um, but your 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 role just changes. And you know, I'm still a part of the team. We're all still a part of the team. We had such a great group of guys in, in the training room, which is bittersweet for me. Um, you know, it's, it's nice to have guys to be able to push you. It's nice to have guys to be able to have that uh, great energy in there. But you know those guys are, are feeling the same way I'm feeling. And it's a matter of we wish we could be out there. And, and ultimately, all of our roles changed. And it was a leadership, um, you know, and a different perspective uh, that you, you, know, you kind of get when you, when you enter the training room for the season. Do you feel like when you hear outside people call you injury prone? Do you feel that's unfair? Um, what's your reaction? Tough, man. I, I, I give I give this game everything I got. You know what I mean. And, and I'm not afraid to say that. Um, you know, you can ask anybody about my work ethic. You know, I, I give it everything. And um, you know, it's it's tough. It's it's hard. I, I, I you know make sure my my recovery regimen is the same. I'm I'm working on all that. So you know, I think a part of it is is knowing when to cut back. Um, you know, I was dealing with an ankle injury for. A month before that, you know, and I and to me, I think that had something to do with it, um, you know. I, but I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm a professional athlete. You put me in a in a position to go play, and, and I'm going to compete as as hard as I can. And, and that's just my makeup. I think that's the, uh, a makeup of this locker room. Um, you know, we've got guys that want to compete, guys that want to want to give everything they got. And ultimately, I think I think that's the reason why we're such a, a team that's together. Jordan, is it over the time you've been here, the level of expectation, the level of success is obviously changed the new norm. Your perspective on how it's changed through the years? Yeah. Um, 
Well, I think I think guys have have really learned the preparation. Um, you know, obviously the the knowledge that goes into the scheme is has uh, definitely increased. Um, you know what it takes to get and what it takes to finish games. I remember a couple of years ago we were sitting in the same room talking about what can we do to finish games. Um, we've done that. You know, we've done it at the highest level, and, and to me, that's the new norm. You know, is is having that expectation, having that that standard of of knowing what it takes to get to that point, what it takes to get um, back to where we want to go. You, you saw that they brought Nigel Bradham back, obviously. Um, why do you feel that was so crucial for them mm-hmm. to do for your defense, and why is it that you and you and he, you guys work together so well, whether it's in base stuff, everything? Yeah, well, I think I think a big part of it is um, his knowledge for the game. Um, I think when you put, well, he's been in this, he's been in this defense for a long time, right? He understands the little details about his job, uh, understands, you know, what to do in the run, the pass. And he's somebody that, you know, can pre-snap, understand what the offense is trying to do. Uh, and when you combine myself and him and, you know, we can sit there on the field before the snap is even happening and talk about what they're about to run and know, you know, what is going on. <coughs> it's big. And, you know, with that, he brings a level of, of intensity that is, you know, a little bit different than, than a lot of guys that are out there on the football field. And uh, credit to him, man. He is he's a beast, and I love playing with him. Um, glad he's back. Can't wait to get going with him. It's, what a, con- it's a contract year for you. How does that factor into the way you view the season? Yeah, I, I mean, I've said it this over and over again. You guys asked me that, that same thing last year. Um, to me, man, if I focus on what I need to do every single day, if I focus on right now getting back, if I focus on when I'm back, making sure that I'm detailing my work, um, that I'm preparing, that I'm taking care of my body, everything is going to fall in place. Um, I don't need to, you know, when you start worrying about everything else is when you get out of your element, when you get out of your game, and, and that's when you can really start, you know, forcing issues. A, a, big, a big issue for a lot of Super Bowl teams is having the same hunger the next year that they had that previous year. How much can, when you have guys like Carson and JP and you and Chris Marandos <laughs> who, you know, weren't part of it on the field at least. Yeah. How, how much can you kind of inject that, that hunger next, next year? Man, um, guys are hungry. Um, I don't think that – I think, you know, obviously with, with our group, we're extremely hungry. Um, I, and I don't have any question that the guys who were here last year um, or the guys coming in, you know, the new guys that we have coming in, I don't, I don't question any of their hunger. Um, it's a special group, man. And, and last year was the same way. You know, we've, we've got to build, start building now. And um, – you know, I, I don't think I don't think that'll be a question at all. You were one of the guys last year who said, you know, hey, watch these guys right from the preseason, like this was a special team. And um, yeah. even after you know you lost a game, second game, and uh, did everybody else you feel it that way as early as you? And you know, did, when, when did the whole team start? To yeah, I, I think so. Um, you can just you you can feel it. You know what I mean? There's a different vibe, and and I said that last year. There was a different vibe in the locker room than there was. In the previous years that I've been here, and it was, it was a, it was a vibe of guys wanting to, wanting to put in the extra time. Um, it was the vibe of, of guys really playing for each other. You see people talking on the sideline about schematic stuff. You talk, you see, you know, offense talking with defensive guys trying to figure out how to do their craft better. It was, it was a team that gelled um, like no other team that I've been on, and um, you know, I, I think, I think it was pretty evident. Jordan, with all the changes. How does that that vibe, that chemistry, how does that get recreated? Yeah. I guess is the, is the word. Well, I think it's. I think again, it goes back to to what Doug has called the new norm, um, and it's you know that is who we are. That is the culture of of the Philadelphia Eagles team, and um, you know we've got the guys that are that are able to do that. The, the guys that have have brought, um, who have seen it firsthand, who have been a part of it firsthand, who understand what it takes to get. Uh, to that level and, and to have that type of camaraderie and um, you know I, I think that's just what it is it's, it's the culture it's it's who we are it's you know it's 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 what we're made of what have you noticed uh, about Carson specifically just spending time with him how hungry he is what his mindset is and what it was like for him uh, specifically last season to not be out there yeah I think I think Carson is in the same boat as all of us who are who are injured you know and I don't want to speak for him or, or be specific about him because I know he's felt the same way that JP felt, that Sproles felt, that you know Chris Marigos felt, that I felt. And, you know, there's a there is a level of of um, intensity that you see in the weight room. There's a level of hunger. Um, 
and and just focus on you know making sure that he's doing everything and we're all doing everything that we we can to get back and and that when we come back we're not just the same player that we were you know that you come back you're you're faster you're stronger you're smarter you're a better player um, than you left and ultimately that has been every single person in that in that training room's goal as a follow up to the contract your question I know it's not your favorite topic but uh yeah. um, do you feel like you still need to show production or is it simply a matter showing that you can stay healthy like the rest of the court? Well, you know, when I'm out there I'm I'm productive. You know what I mean? So for me it's it's stay healthy, play your game and, you know, let it happen. I mean I I I don't have a problem or a, or a, you know, any question in my mind that if I'm healthy I'll be productive. It's just a matter of, of staying on the field and um, you know, making sure I'm doing everything I can for to get wins. You know, that's 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 the goal, and, and that always has been the goal. It's never changed. As a linebacker, defensive line is often your best friend. You already had one of the best. Now it looks like, if anything, they've added significant mm-hmm. talent. How excited are you to play behind those guys? <laughs> it's, it's funny because I'm sitting here and we're watching we're watching film right now, and uh, <laughs> we're watching the D line make all these plays. I'm like, Sitting there with Nate Gear, I'm like, man, our D line is a beast. It's only gonna get better. And you know, it's like you said, it's our best friend, and uh, they make our jobs so much easier. And you know, I'm I'm glad that, <laughs> that I'm behind them. Um, you know, in terms of of uh, you know what they do for us. You know, constantly being disruptive. You know, Coach Schwartz gives them the green light, and that does nothing but but help us out. I was wondering areas where you can get better at. I mean, as a- as a team, as, you know, specifically as a defense, do you see areas where you guys can get better? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, they, you, you can go through every single film and and see areas where you know we need to tweak or, or things that we need to get better at. Whether it's uh, fitting the run in certain on certain runs, you know, there, it's a copycat league. These these offenses are scheming runs up for us that you know we may at one point have had a trouble had trouble stopping at one point. Um, you know, whether it's tweaking a a coverage uh, to make sure that you know we're getting everything covered and we're not exposing ourselves too much, and uh, whether it's teaching, whether it's you know technique and little details. There's always there's always things you can um, you can work on, and, and the moment you don't think that is the moment when you when you're getting too complacent. I was wondering if you've looked back and even going back to Texas at, at the different injuries. I know they're all unrelated, but if there's anything you're doing as far as training. Um, you know the way you play the game, the way you recover. That kind of to me, it's that. to me, it's 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 a lot of compensation, um, and 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 like I said, I was dealing with that ankle injury. It was the opposite ankle, and right. you know when you're dealing with one thing, you're susceptible to another. And uh, you know it's just the way the body works, man. I, I I think you know as I become a pro, and as as I become a pro, you've got to learn. There's a level of of being smart and understanding. Um, when enough is enough, and and when you know you have to say no at some point, and you know I, I, it's, whether it's pride, whether it's it's you know the things that are in my head, it's you know those those questions have to be answered, and you know I decided not to not to come out. I decided to to tough it out, and you know I played um, versus versus the Chargers. I played versus uh, the Carolina. I played in against the Arizona the Arizona Cardinals, and you know all with a bum bum ankle, and you know it, it, it pays and. At the end of the day, hindsight's twenty twenty. What can you do? It it we'll seems take one more, guys. Who's up? Take two more. There we it, go. it seems linebacker depth was a priority this offseason. What do uh, Corey Nelson and, and Paul Willow add to the week? Yeah, um, with both older guys um, and and guys who have, uh, I think, both been in a Super Bowl and and understand that culture, understand you know the culture that we've built, and understand who 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 we're trying to become, and um, you know. They're both athletic. They're both guys that are, are smart, uh, tough nose, um, and who come who can come in instantly and make an impact. Going back to Texas uh, at the combine, I talked to Malik Jefferson. Big yeah. smile flashing on his face when I mentioned your name. What's your relationship like with him, and, and how exciting would it be to have a guy like him come in and you can mentor him uh, as, as a teammate again? Yeah, me and me and Malik have a have a good relationship, man. As as probably as close as any young linebacker that I've been a part of. Uh, or I've, I've known at the University of Texas um, ever since day one when he came in for his his visit. You know, it was kind of you know, hey Jordan, take him take him on. Make sure you're you're, you're talking to him and, and staying connected. And we've done that, and uh, it's cool to see his growth as you know a young freshman with a lot of a lot of talent, a lot of hype, a lot of 
uh, accolades coming out of, out of high school and then, you know, really get to this point where he's, you know, pushing the first round and trying to make his push um, to come into the league and, and prove himself. So, you know, I'm just, just constantly uh, keeping up with him uh, throughout <clears throat> throughout the, uh, the process. I know how grueling that can be. Um, and any way I can help, I tell him, you know, any way I can help, man. I've been there. I understand. Um, you know, I've done things right. I've done things wrong. Bounce it off of me. I'll, I'll, I'll be your, your soundboard. So. Thanks, guys. Cool. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys. Coming in right now.